Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about today's video because this is going to be the first of my re-hauls, which is what I decided to call my reviews of past hauls. So, Courtney K recently posted a video like this, and I know a lot of YouTubers do this. They look back at hauls from six months a year, even longer ago, and talk about what they think of the products now. And I've been wanting to do one of these videos for a really, really long time. I tried, I didn't start my channel until December of last year, so even earlier this year I was trying to figure out a way that I could talk about things I'd bought in the past. I wanted to kind of look at my purchase history on Sephora, but it didn't go back that far. Um, I was looking at my phone, maybe it would online, I'd have to look, but um, so that wasn't going to work and I was just, I've been waiting and waiting for December to come so I could rehaul my first haul. But the other day I was looking at my Instagram, I was going back really far to try to look for something and I found something else. I found a haul I got from Sephora 51 weeks ago. So I thought it would be really fun to do a rehaul of that item and that was, a, it was just one item but it was the Sephora Favorites Kit which is um, a set that came out, you know, for the holidays last year with a bunch of items and it was an amazing value. Um, I believe it was a $225 value and it was only $75. There were a bunch of full size and deluxe size samples in it. So I'm going to go one by one through all the items that were in it, but I'll show you a quick picture of what it looked like. So that is it right there. Hopefully it shows up on my camera. But um, it was really, really awesome and I was really excited about it when I bought it. So, so I'm going to go through the items one by one. I'm going to start with the items in there that were full sized. I don't have them all to show with you right now. I've used up some and some are just back at home. So I'll just talk about them if I don't have them with me. So the first full size item was the Smashbox BB Cream in Light. And I was lucky there's two products in this kit that kind of wouldn't work for everyone because of their coloring, but they actually were perfect for me because that BB cream really matches me pretty well. Um, I'm not a huge BB cream BB cream fan. I haven't found very many that I like, but I do like the Smashbox one, and I have used that a fair amount. So um, I don't know if I would repurchase it just because I'm not a BB cream type person, but you know. I would definitely take having that full size one for free. I have enjoyed it and I will continue to enjoy it since I still have it around. The second item was one of the big reasons I really wanted this kit and it's because it had the NARS full size NARS Orgasm blush in it. And that's worth $30 alone and that had been on my wish list for a really long time. So I mean that's almost half of the cost of this whole kit. So that's kind of what really drew it to drew me to the kit in the first place. And I, I'm really glad I got that blush, especially kind of at a discounted price, because it's one of those cult items everyone's always talking about, and I was so curious about. Even though I had some that I know a lot of people compared to it, like Milani Lumino, so I was just so curious about the real thing or whatever. So I thought it was a really great way to get that blush and not, you know, spend a lot of money on it. So I do really like that blush. I'm happy to have it. I do prefer Deep Throat to it, but there's only one way to find that out, and that was to try it out. So I'm glad I got it and that I didn't pay full price for it, really, if you consider, like, the value of the whole kit. The next full-size item is the Anastasia. Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in dark brown. And this is another thing that wouldn't work for everyone. It depends on your hair color. But like I said, I'm lucky at both colored items worked for me. And this is something I just started getting into. I'm going to be working on using it up coming up soon. Um, I'm wearing it right now and I really, really like it. It works really well. Um, it's very it's very skinny and the color is a really good match for me. I, it's above that liner. So I'm really glad to have this. I think the full size is like 20 something dollars, like $23 maybe. And I know they don't last very long because it's such a thin pencil and it only goes up so far. So it's not something I don't, I don't know if I would purchase it again, but I know the NYX Micro Brow is very similar, but I'm happy to have tried it and I will enjoy using this up um, in my next Project 10 pan. 
The next full size item was a rollerball in Chloe, and I love this scent. Um, it looks like I've only used a little bit, but I actually have a bunch of samples of it because every time it's an option for a sample when I'm placing an order, I would pick it out. So I've been, I've tried to go through all those little samples before I really doubled down on this rollerball, but I, I think this was the first time I ever tried it, and I just really, really loved it. It's, I don't, I'm not good at like picking out the notes or anything, but it's just a really nice perfume to wear every day. It smells great, and I think it, I was really excited to get this in the kit. The next item is one I don't have with me. It's the Formula X Nail Polish in Ignite, which was a dark red shade. And I think I actually gave that to my sister because I just had a lot of shades that were similar to that and I didn't need it. I really like Formula X Polishes, but that was one that just... It was a dupe for other things I had, so I just passed it along to someone else. Then I had the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner in black, intense black, I think. And so I got this a year ago, but I didn't open it until earlier in 2015. I think around February, maybe? I, I don't remember. But it's still going strong. I don't wear it every single day, but it hasn't dried out at all. Um, you can see it right under the Brow Wiz swatch right there and it's a felt tip. It's very easy to work with. I do prefer the brush tip, my, the Kat Von D um, brush tip, Trooper, whatever it's called, is my favorite liquid liner that I've tried so far, but this is definitely second. And I found at the time that I got this kit and you know earlier this year, I thought liquid liner was my favorite type of liner, but I've really re fallen in love with gel liner. So. Um, I don't think I would ever repurchase this because I, I'll probably just stick to gel liner from now on. But I do really, really like this and I would recommend it if you are into liquid liners. And then the last full size item is this Urban Decay eyeshadow in Sin. And I do have the Urban Decay Naked Palette, the original one, and this is one of the shades in there. So it was, I mean, not really a dupe, a repeat of something I already had, but I still was really excited to have a full size of this shadow. Um, you can see there's already a little dip in it, and I just started reaching for this instead of the Naked palette for some reason. Um, it's a very slight dip though, I haven't used that that much. But I, at the end of 2014, yeah, 2014, at the end of 2014 before I started painting my Lorac Pro palette, one of my go-to looks was to pair um, all the shades in here. I would use Righteous, which is like a cream shade, the lighter brown in the crease, the darker brown in the outer V, the white as a highlight and an inner corner highlight and the black to set any liner if I wanted to and then I'd put this on the lid because all of these are kind of a matte. Um, the white and the black I think are satin but everything else is matte so I would add this for a little bit of shimmer on my eyelids and I really really like that and I did it a ton. Then for the deluxe size samples that came in the kit, there was a Benefit Their Real Mascara, and I already used that up, and I really, really enjoy that mascara, so that was a great. I also got a Benefit Professional sample, and I've gone through a bunch of those, so I don't know if I... I, th I definitely used up the one that came in this kit, um, but I have another one that looks just like it that I got somewhere else, but um, I like that primer. I have a lot of samples of it and I'm happy to use them up, but it's not something I feel like I need in my makeup routine, so I probably won't ever purchase a full size, but I was happy to have another sample to use up from that kit. Then I had the Josie Moran Argan Oil, and that was a deluxe sample, and I just, I'm not a big argan oil, oil kind of person. I do like hair oils, especially when my hair was really long, um, it used to be like down to here, but... Um, I just don't really know what to do with that. I don't like using it as a moisturizer. I've used it on my cuticles and stuff, but then, you know, I feel like I'll, I'm all greasy. It's just not my favorite product. It's not something I would pick up on, on its own, but, oh well, I mean, in any kit, there's going to be some things that don't appeal to you, and I kind of knew that going in, but it still didn't affect that I thought it was a really great value. And then, similarly to that, I had the Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray. And I was excited to try that. Um, it's like a sea salt spray. And that just didn't really work for me. Uh, my hair doesn't curl. It doesn't hold a curl or a wave. No matter what I do, it's just straight. And I don't really like sea salt sprays. I feel like that's kind of what they're for if you want kind of a little bit of a wave. Um, it just makes your hair a little... I don't remember if that one made my hair crunchy. I just didn't have a use for it. I'm not really into hair. I don't really do my hair. So I think I gave that to my sister so I don't have that anymore either. Then finally, the last product was this deluxe sample of the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment in Rosé. And I just finished this off. It was in my Finish 15 by Halloween. 
So obviously I really liked that. I ended up getting an entire little set of mini fresh lip treatments. So I really was happy to be able to finally try that um, at a discount and then you know, realized I really liked it and it was worth spending some money on. I don't know if I would buy a full size. I mean, $22 for a lip balm is a little bit crazy, but I think, um, I like that there's a little tint. It's really comfortable to wear and I really like the scent. It's like lemon scented. So, you know, I felt, I, I bought the kit, I think I had five or six for $36. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And I, I prefer the mini ones just because of the size of them. I've never tried a full-size one, but I've heard other people say they're kind of big. And just looking at them at Sephora, I agree. So that was another hit from this kit. So all in all, there were seven full-size items in this kit. There was one that, that I passed on. It was the nail polish. And then I did already have the eyeshadow, but I still felt like it was a pretty good deal. And then for the deluxe sample, there were five deluxe samples, and two of them were duds for me. So in the whole thing, there were three duds. But I still think this was a great purchase and a great value for the money. Um, I, it was $75, a $225 value, but even if you take out the value of the things I didn't like, it's still a great deal, uh, especially since I had mine, the NARS blush on my wish list anyway, so instead of spending $30 on that, I spent a, a little bit over twice that much, but got a ton more, and I've really enjoyed the majority of the products in this kit. I don't know if Sephora has a 2015 version of this kit. I know they had it in the past few years. So, um, like I said, I've kind of not been paying attention to stuff that's coming out. So I don't know if another one has come out. Um, I would say I don't. the things I don't like about it are that there aren't different shade options for things like the BB cream and the Brow Wiz. I think they easily could have made a kit that was would either work for everyone skin tone like instead of using the Smashbox BB cream they should have put in a Smashbox you know the photo finish primer and instead of like the Anastasia brow wiz they could have done the clear brow gel or something like that just to make it more universal but I was lucky that it worked for me and my coloring but you know even if you, one of those items wouldn't work for you I think it like a, a kit like this is still pretty good value and you can pass that on to someone you know that it would work for. And um, likewise, if you have one or two of the items in the kit but you're really interested in the other ones, I think this is a great way to try out a bunch of stuff. But if you have a lot of them, then you know the value of it to you really goes down because it's not really worth having multiples of most of these things. Like the NARS blush will last forever and so will the Sin eyeshadow. So I do recommend this kit for anyone that's just getting into makeup like I was at the time. I didn't have any of these things. They're all cult favorites and I was curious about them so I got to try them all out for a really good price. So if this comes out again and you're curious about it, I would say go for it if you're interested in the majority. Not, it doesn't have to be every single item in the, in the kit, but if you're interested in the majority, if there are things you would buy in there that add up to over $75 on their own and then you get all this other stuff just as bonus you know, I would definitely go for it, but if you have a lot of the items, or you're not interested in them all, or you know for sure, like the BB cream and the eye, the brow is, or two of the items, you know, the coloring just won't work for you, then I, I don't know if I would necessarily recommend it. You kind of have to look at what's in it and the value, and if you think it's worth it for you. Um, and I know Sephora inside JCPenney's had like a different version of this kit. It was like a smaller version. I think it had the BB cream, the blush, the eyeshadow and maybe a couple other things so that's another option as well um, to j you just get it's such a great value so I definitely recommend this if you don't have those items and you're interested in them I'll stop blabbering on about it but all in all I don't regret that haul I think I, it was a wise purchase for me and I got to try out a lot of really awesome products so that's it for this rehaul my next one will probably be in December unless I somehow find a way to find some other things I bought in October and November of 2014. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!